For all things great iron and hard top, it's Kev Lewin's keys the sandbox. What's up, everybody? Since the sandbox is back with another video on the U of Tube, <laughs> um, rocking the jersey, the tube, yeah, which we, is you. We just finished up some NBA talk. We have a little more coming up, but right now, huge trade in the NFL. Uh, Sam Donald is now on the Panthers, and the Jets are most likely taking a quarterback with the second overall pick. And we're gonna tell you what we think about it. Yeah, and Lou actually predicted this. So I last did. week, when this trade actually came came uh, and happened. We were doing our mock draft stuff covering the draft, and this man right here said it live. So that's why you tune in to Sense the Sandbox. Exactly. But, guys, we, yeah. We know before everyone else does. <laughs> Even Woj. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're here to talk about who won the trade, and um, I honestly think that, that it was Carolina. I mean, Definitely. They, they found themselves in a trial scenario that they don't have to commit long-term financials mm -hmm. to. They didn't give up any drastic draft picks. They still kept their top yeah. 10 position in the draft. They have a stacked wide receiver room. They have a, a top three running back in the in the NFL. And they have a young, good defense. So it's it's kind of all in Matt Rule's hands now. Mm -hmm. And we heard how Matt Rule was talking about Sam Donalds. And I'm, I'm not saying that Sam Donalds is a perfect prospect because he's not. But the fact that he could still be on his rookie deal, be 23 years old, and... Hopefully, you know, the excuses just don't come down to injury anymore and yeah. we can actually see the play. Um, but it's not going to be that he doesn't have the wide receivers. It's not going to be that he doesn't have the offense. It's all on him. Yeah, absolutely. I, I definitely think the Panthers won the deal. And the Jets did, like, everything wrong. Yeah. Like, you figure, like, you hold on to a guy like that to literally, like, boost the draft, like, the value of him. Like, oh, wait, it's getting down to the draft. Like, you know what I mean? We can, we can trade him now. We can get the most for him before, like, nope. They literally did it. Weeks before the draft, um, and literally got the minimal, yeah. like the absolute minimal. peanuts. <laughs> literally, what did they get? A, a third and a six? They got a, a six this year and a second and a fourth next year. So nothing that's immediately going no. to change their team this year. And that's what I think. Like, is the weird thing. Like, if you felt this way, then why not trade Sam Donald last year? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or right at the bat, like when the Watson like d thing was like big and like quarterbacks were like at the highest value. Yeah, exactly. It, it just doesn't really make sense, but it, but I mean, it is the Jets. Uh, yeah. I know Vin's going to be checking this out, big Vin. Wow. So <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be loved that we're hating on the Jets. Um, they didn't do like, they didn't lose. Like they're still good. Cause like they have the second pick and they have more picks in the draft, but like, like they're in a good, better situation, but like they could have been in a way better situation. Like they could have probably got if they held out like close to a second or a third this year. Yeah. And like made some impact, but like I, I guess not, dude. I think I think they definitely could have gotten off for where it could have been more impactful this year rather than just a sixth. Like, but like, do you think that like the Panthers could get close to that for Teddy Bridgewater to a team? Um, like a six and like a two. I definitely think that they can get close to that. As I don't think they'll end up getting three draft picks for it, but I could definitely see a team giving like a single fourth for Teddy. Yeah. Um, something like around that, rather than you know sacrificing two or three picks or a third um, and a late swap. Yeah, yeah, maybe even like a third round swap. Like you yeah. know, you know what I mean. Like j it just depends on the scenario, the team, and the type of deal and expectations that come with Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, maybe a team like Pittsburgh could, yep. could be like a, a good fit for him. I know that's a team that we don't really talk about, mm -hmm. but um, if if he said he's willing to take on that back o backup role with the Panthers, then why not do that with a, a team that's probably promised to be a little bit more of a contender? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, but Kevin, I know you're on the opposite side of the spectrum. So yeah. why don't we why don't we hear why why the Jets won the trade? Yeah. So me and Steve were talking about this trade a little bit before. And um, I just, I don't know, I think realistically you have the second pick. So, I mean, we're, I feel like the whole world assuming they're drafting yeah. the quarterback, right? If not, then they must have either something in mind or they really are dumber than we thought. Yeah. <laughs> um, but chances are you're drafting the guy, right? And, and, and no matter who you draft, realistically, I would hope would they're pan out start. better than Sam Donald. You know yeah. what I mean? At least in New York. At least in New York. I'm not saying for their career. Sam Donald's so young. But in New York, he's going to pan out better. So... If you're already getting the QB that you want that's going to replace this guy, mm -hmm. why not go out and get three draft picks for him? Like I said to Steven, they're not great draft picks. I agree with that. They probably could have got like a better single draft pick. But if you have three draft picks in the next two drafts, even if it's a, a second, a fourth, and a sixth, like, you're taking a chance that even if you hit on one of those picks, that's a 
that's a that's a good trade. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you you pretty much traded it for someone who you weren't going to use. And like you said, if Sam Donald didn't pan out there and they didn't get rid of him, then they you know like that's just another guy they're going to have to keep paying. And it's just like why like you already we already we've been there done that. Like you're not the yeah. guy. So like let's just out of sight out yeah. of mind. You know what I mean? And I mean you brought up a good point though. They probably could have held out and got more, but I just feel like they were at the point where it's like let's just like mm-hmm. let's just do it. Get like, it you know over. I mean? Yeah, like why even wait? You off. get three picks mm-hmm. now, like. Like Steve said, like like you could get like a like maybe you could have got a better single pick like a like a guarant like I don't know a, but a with with the three and, picks yeah. you give yourself more room to you know potentially do like the Pats do every year find a guy in those later rounds that can be productive in whatever position you need it doesn't even need to be you know what yeah. I mean so it's I just the judge track record you know? right yeah, yeah, like, yeah you need to hit it like in the other rounds right and like not pray for like a and I mean, like a needle in a haystack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we've honestly seen, you know, the Jets regimen since probably 2008 just be continuously flipping over, flipping over, Awful. you know, committing to different franchise Awful. quarterbacks. I mean, we've been saying that this was going to work since Geno Smith, and it, it, it yeah. still hasn't worked. You know what I'm saying? Geno so, Smith, um, Jesus. The, the franchise definitely has some some upgrades. So to is me. he flipping burgers and receiving? <laughs> He's actually a backup somewhere around the I think league. So. Um, but as, as far as Sam Donald goes, like, what do we have I, I, as far as expectations with the Panthers? I mean, they're not going to win the division with the Bucks being there. You can honestly argue that, that the Falcons can probably still be in competition with mm-hmm. them if they're coming into the year fully healthy under a new coach. Um, and it depends on what the Saints are doing at their quarterback position. You know what I mean? So is this a move that's still going to keep Carolina fourth in the division? I mean, yeah, technically, just because, like, the division's so decent, or at least good. But I think, like, if it's a success, like, there's only two ways this goes. Like, Sam looks the exact same, and he's just not the guy. They let him walk, and he becomes a Trubisky, like, in a sense, where he goes somewhere good and becomes a backup in hopes of starting again one day. Or he leads them to eight to nine wins. He takes a couple division games, you know what I mean? Like, the Panthers, I think they said, had, like, six or seven one-score losses. Yes. So, like, if he can get them over that hump and, like, finish off games and, like, show that he's not the same travesty as the Jets, it's a success. And and there's, look, there's like, something to look forward to because Matt Ryan's old, Drew Brees is gone, Brady's going to play two more seasons, if that. You know what yeah. I mean? So, I, I think there's a good, there's, like, something to look forward to if he can get over that and he's the guy. But, I like, that. we'll see he, if he, if he, It'll He's be interesting to see since, like, the Jets are such a dumpster fire. If it were, yeah. if it really was just the Jets, like, you know what I mean? Or if it's Sam Donald. Like you know a I mean? Or maybe situation. it was a little bit of both, like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. some guys, you know what I mean? Football's one of those sports where, like, it really can be the system you're in that Definitely. holds you back from being you, you know what I mean? Yeah. With the pieces around you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. But, guys, that's going to wrap things up for our Who Won the Trade episode with Sam Donald going to the Carolina Panthers. We got a lot of NFL talk coming to you guys with the off season going on. The NFL drafts coming up, so make sure to head over to our podcast, listen to our mock drafts mm-hmm. we got coming to you guys. More of those coming up as the yep. draft process comes to an end. Uh, we got all of our NBA jerseys on. We were talking some ball earlier this week, so make sure you turn tune in to some of our basketball content on YouTube and on our podcast guys go to sensesandbox.net rock your favorite shirts and sweatshirts just like your podcasters mm-hmm. and you know the deal if it ain't five stars guys we don't want it oh. Peace. for all things great iron and hard top it's kevlu and since the sandbox Woo!